Facebook, Facebook ads, Facebook marketing, growing your business. Today I'm doing something a little different because I am streaming this onto my group using a software and I'm doing it Facebook Live through my desktop, which is um, different. But I'm also doing this on my phone to you on my page. So I'm just playing around a little bit. I got two cameras going on. For somebody who was terrified about being on video earlier this year in January when Facebook Live came up, boy, let me tell you, this is quite the thing. So I see I've got a bunch of people watching here and I would love to know who's watching, where you're watching from, and what your questions are. We're going to talk a little bit about fear and a little bit about consistency. Uh, as you know, I am always in personal growth mode. I'm always uh, up for uh, changing things up and learning and growing and doing more things. So I'm back and forth between the two cameras. Hope you can hear me okay on the page. Please let me know because I'm not using a headset there. I'm just using a headset through my computer. So let me know if the sound is okay. If you're here watching, please let me know so I can fix that up if it's not. And if you've got a question, just write it in the comments about Facebook marketing, Facebook ads, using your Facebook page to connect with your audience, collecting email addresses, um, getting new clients and customers off of Facebook. And I'm going to stir my tea. Uh, it's Tuesday morning for me, so if anybody has tea or coffee going, please join me in a cup of tea. And I see my sister's on saying that the sound is good, but she's posting as me because she's an administrator on my page. <laughs> we need to have a little lesson to teach you how to change that so that you post as yourself, not as me when you comment. Thanks, Shirley Ann, for being here. Shirley Ann and Sherry Lee, how's that for double-barreled names? Okay, got my tea. Hey, Baz. Baz is here in the group. Nice to see you. Thank you for letting me know the sound is good, Baz. All right, so... Let's talk about fear and consistency. And you know that I'm always in this personal growth mode. I'm always working to um, change things up and to learn from my past and to grow. Hey, Christine, thanks for joining us. Nice to see you here. Uh, make sure you add your questions. Hey, Michelle, thank you for being here. Michelle, where are you uh, viewing from? I, have, I don't think I've seen you on with us before, so let me know. And, and Garvin and Christine, let us know where you're, where you're watching from and what your business is. I'll give you a shout out. Um, and you know, this is going out on my um, uh, Facebook page, which tends to get a lot of great engagement as well. So make sure you tell me what your business is. Hey, Barb. Um, okay, let's see if we can work out your question about the poll today. Uh, it should not be this hard, to be honest with you. So fear. Do we all feel fear? Have we all felt fear? Yeah, fear is uh, probably, possibly, part of every single day that we live. And, and the reflection of my glasses, I'm gonna take those off again. Man, that's annoying. I gotta get new glasses with the re no reflective thing. Uh, I know Terry is there saying, some, Terry Lynn is there somewhere saying, get re non-reflective glasses. So fear probably is in our lives potentially every day. I mean, we could feel it, we could con it could consume us, it could, you know, take over and you know, I'm uh, from my experiences, from my past, with my marriage, with some of the situations that we were in. Um, I've discovered in the last few years that I spent an awful lot of that time in my marriage in fear, and after still in fear. And you know what fear does is it it just destroys so much. You know, it holds you back from being yourself. It holds you back from trying new things. It holds you back from experiencing life. It can be toxic. It can affect you in such, so many different ways. And sometimes we aren't always aware of the way it's affecting us. So, you know, fear can hold us back from doing things like Facebook Live, like trying two cameras at once. It can also stop us from even going to a networking group or you know, saying hi to somebody new on the street or somebody that you've seen over and over at your kids' classes. And, you know, it, it, fear is good if it's guiding us and keeping us away from unsafe situations and dangerous situations, then we need to listen. And that, you know, goes to your gut. That's your intuition. And if you've, uh, I've got a book that I read years ago called The Gift of Fear. Uh, Garvin, Gavin, Gavin DeBecker, that's his name. 
uh, the gift of fear, and then he's also got protecting the gift is the second one. So the gift of fear talks about how our fear is sometimes really our intuition, and we have been uh, guided in life to not listen to our intuition. And that stifles our ability to listen to our fear appropriately. And our fear takes on different play roles in our lives then and becomes not helpful, which it's supposed to be, becomes um, dangerous and holding us back. And it's such a great book. If you haven't read it, please take it out from the library or purchase it. The Gift of Fear. For women, it's incredibly powerful. He helps a lot of people learn how to listen to their intuition and he gives a lot of examples in the book about how intuition had it been was there and people ignored it just before uh, personal assaults or attacks came up. Uh, one of the examples that he has is of a woman who is coming home uh, in a big city, I don't remember which city, New York or something like that. She's coming home with a couple of bags full of groceries and she gets to the front door and she's struggling to the front door and this guy she doesn't know comes up and says, here, let me get that for you. And, and she's kind of hesitant to give him his key and he says, oh, don't worry about it, I'm here to visit my friend. And so she acquiesces and she doesn't listen to that intuition in her gut. She gives him her key and he opens the door for her and she goes in and she notices he's following behind her. And then, you know, something falls out of her grocery bag and he picks it up and he gives it to her and he says, here, let me carry this for you. No problem. She goes, no, 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 it's okay. I've got it. And he says something like, um, oh, you independent women, you know, don't worry. I'm not going to, I'm not going to be a problem. I'm here visiting my friend. Um, you know, I'm j I just want to help you out. Why are you not open to me helping you? You know, don't be so defensive. Those sorts of things that we hear a lot. And so she reluctantly lets him take a bag out of her arms and walk with her up the stairs. And um, they get to her apartment door and she says, great, I've got it from here. Thank you. And he goes, no, 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 I'll just bring it in. And she says, no, it's okay. And he again kind of cajoles her and pushes her and says, you know, come on, what's the big deal? I'm just here visiting a friend. I'm, gonna, I'm just trying to help you out. Boy, you're not very appreciative right? Like you're so independent, it's okay to need help. He's given her, these are all these hot buttons that as girls, we really are aware of. And so she finally reluctantly says, okay, and lets him walk into the apartment to put the groceries down. And he turns around and locks the door and kept her prisoner for like three or four days. And this is a true case. This is a woman that then came to Gavin to work with him afterwards to, um, overcome the damage of the assault that she endured over those three days uh, that he held her and she only escaped by her wits and she had messages from her intuition her fear in that situation was incredibly appropriate and she needed to listen to it but what happens sometimes for us is we get way out of proportion in our fear and we let the fear stop us. So fear of live video, fear of posting a, something on our Facebook page that offends somebody, fear of, you know, offending somebody by a comment that we make so we don't say anything. Um, you know, there's just, uh, fear is meant to guide us in our decisions. It's part of our intuition and we need to listen to our intuition to keep us safe. But it's not meant to stop us from activities that are going to help us to advance, to grow, to uh, become more fully developed human beings, to become happier. And sometimes taking risk has fear come with it. But you have to evaluate, is this risk, is the, the risk worse than the possible positive outcomes that we have here? And if fear has got too big of a place in your life, too big of a role in your life, then it's going to stop you from doing what you need to do. Let me have a quick sip here. You guys have a sip too. I have to put on my reflective lenses again in order to see what people are saying because I see some comments coming in. So thank you for that. So fear has definitely... Um, and we talked about this before. Barb, you mentioned, you just mentioned Susan Jeffers, Feel the Fear and Do It Anyway, one of my favorite books. There it is for the page. 
and I mentioned this once before in a live, Feel the Fear and Do It Anywhere is, Do It Anyway is a fantastic book. Uh, the Gift of Fear, Gavin De Becker, also a fantastic book. So the point of this is, if you are living in fear, if you are afraid of things, if you're afraid to do a status update on your page, if you're afraid to make your fa Facebook page go live and put yourself out there, if you're afraid to do Facebook Live videos, I want you to take a step back and really evaluate what it is that is holding you back. What are you afraid of? Is it something like that's life-threatening? Is it an assault? Is it somebody who is scary? Is it something you truly need to be afraid of that is going to cause you body or mental, emotional harm? If it is, then listen to that fear. That's your gut instinct saying, this isn't safe, don't do this. Go ahead and do that. But if it's fear of, um, oh, I'm stepping out of my comfort zone, I'm going into some place that I'm not comfortable with, that is unsafe, that feels... Sorry about that. I was trying to adjust my uh, computer screen to get less reflection, so I dropped my page. Sorry. Um, if it feels like um, it's a fear that's just because you're trying to get out of your comfort zone and you're trying to do something more that you haven't done before, then you want to evaluate where is this fear going to take me? Is the potential positive outcome more important or more likely than the negative outcome I'm afraid of? Is there really a negative outcome that could come from this. So if doing a Facebook Live, and I know we've got a Facebook Live challenge coming up starting on Monday, October 31st. It is for anybody who wants to master the use of Facebook Live for their business and um, want to use it to grow their business and to get more customers and clients. So, um, you know, if you're afraid of doing Facebook Live, what's the worst thing that could happen? Um, you know, really, what's the worst thing that could come about of you doing a Facebook Live? Excuse me, I'm getting over a cold and so my voice is... So, if, if you're afraid of doing a Facebook Live, ask yourself what's the worst that can happen. If you're afraid of doing a status update, what's the worst that can happen? Maybe somebody will see it and not agree with it or disagree with it. Or maybe somebody will say, well, you know what, she, I don't agree with her opinion on this and so I don't want to work with her one person, I'm okay with that. I think that's, you know, not the worst thing that can happen, definitely. That's not, that's a fear of me putting myself out there and people, and I'm afraid somebody's going to look at me and go, oh, look at her. Who does she think she is that she can talk about this? Um, you know, why does she think she has a message? Or, um, you know, she doesn't even have a professional camera set up. Or her glasses are reflective oh my gosh, I, you know, I can't stand that. I'm not going to work with her. And that used to hold me back, those kind of fears. Those weren't fears of me actually doing anything that was going to cause me harm. That was just my ego getting in the way and saying uh, no. And what came out of that is the fear stops the ego stops you from being consistent in your actions. And that's the next piece of this. Consistency is the key to consistent reliable success. And so if you're in fear, then you stop yourself from doing things on a regular basis and being consistent with your efforts to grow your business. Consistency is key. And if you are consistently consistent, you will see consistent results. So you have to stop fear from stopping you. So as um, oh, Tony Iron Man said, stop stopping. We love that line. In Iron Man 3, stop stopping. If you are in fear and your life is actually at risk, then listen to that and get yourself to safety. Absolutely. Do things to learn to listen to your intuition so that you don't, um, you know, continue to put yourself in, in dangerous situations for sure. But uh, if you are in fear because you're stepping out of your comfort zone and you aren't sure what it's going to be like or what the results are going to be like, get consistent get out of fear and get into braveness. Now, the big thing that came out of the fear, the feel, feel the fear book is even people who are afraid 
do the big things, that the people who do the big things are still afraid. They just don't let fear stop them. So that's what we're going to work on next. And I invite you to join me in the Facebook engagement challenge. If you are feeling fear, join me in that challenge and let's get over some of those fears about live video because this is going to walk you through how to do it nice and safely. So um, Michelle is here from Halifax, Nova Scotia. Welcome, Michelle. She is the owner of Vacation MD. Michelle Davidson, awesome. Welcome, Michelle. Barb's here. Uh, Gavin was here. Uh, and Barb is looking to figure out how to do a poll. Um, yeah, Barb, I don't want to scroll off of my screen right now. Let me see if I can help you with that, though. You should just click Status Update, and um, then there should be an option. There's three options that will come up on the top of that Status Update. And if you click on those, it won't be photo or video, it won't be uh, status, it'll be the one beside it, questions, events, that sort of thing. If you click on that, there should be an option to create a poll in there. So it's one of those, th it's not photo or video, it's not live status update, it's the third option. And, and I'm not sure what it, I, offhand I can't think of what that's called. But it should be in there to create a poll, Barb. Um, and... Barb has a workshop coming up based on Susan Jeffers' book, Feel the Fear and Do It Anyways. I've been a facilitator for her for a couple of years. Oh, Barb, that's awesome. I'd love to know more about that. So definitely I want to find out that information. So that I think that should answer your question about the poll, Barb. Let me know if that worked. Any other questions about Facebook, Facebook Live, Facebook ads, Facebook marketing? We're doing this Facebook Live challenge coming up. We do a Facebook engagement challenge. The Facebook Live challenge, if you want to be part of it, it you can register for it at socialmediaminder.com slash Facebook Live. So that'll get you the sign up page so you can sign up. There's going to be emails every day. I'm going, we're going to do five Facebook Lives. You're going to be asked to do five Facebook Lives, or one a day for five days. We're going to, I'm going to teach you how to get your Facebook Lives set up and organized in a way that allows you to eliminate the fear because you're organized and move into success. And then you're going to, I'm going to give you a specific um, uh, theme for each post, each Facebook Live you're going to do each day to move you along the path to get to know new people on your page, in your group, to increase your engagement and to increase your signups to your email list and to get more people asking to work with you. Alright, so that's the point of the Facebook Live. So I'll put that link in the comment uh, in my post uh, after, the, uh, after we're done here today. It's socialmediaminder.com slash Facebook Live. So any other questions about Facebook, Facebook ads, Facebook Live, about growing your business, about starting out, about um, overcoming uh, situations and achieving anyways, any of those things. If there's no questions, we are going to end this today and say thank you. And we will still be back next week. Now, next Monday, the challenge starts, but we're still going to do, I'll do my Facebook Live every day in the group, but we'll still do a live Q&A Tuesday at 9 a.m. In, in my Badass Facebook Marketing Club. And for people on my page, I will add that URL into the comments as well so that um, uh, you can join us over there if you'd like. Uh, I may stream it as well onto my page. I'm not sure. We'll see. I, I have to review how this worked and let you know. So that's the other thing is I've uh, gotten to the place where I just kind of take these chances and do these things without really knowing how things are going to go and I work it out and um, then I teach you what I learned and uh, help you avoid some of those missteps that I take on your behalf <laughs> so there you go so Michelle's just signed up for the live awesome Michelle good glad to have you joining us uh, Baz said, we are born with only two fears, fear of falling and loud noises, all others we learn. I like that, Baz. Fear of falling and loud noises. Those two things are startle reflexes, right? For babies, those come about almost instantly. I love that. And then all the rest of them we learn through conditioning, through our environment, through the people we spend time with and uh, the choices we make. So dig deep and listen to your intuition. Do the work and get past the fear. Don't let the fear stop you. Deal, read the books. The Gift of Fear by Gavin DeBecker and Feel the Fear and Do It Anyway, Susan Jeffers. 
and also um, you know use those books to help you dis differentiate between fear and intuition and then listen to your intuition and then get consistent in your actions because you don't let fear hold you back anymore okay so that's it for today thank you all for joining me appreciate your time appreciate you being here stay active on Facebook join the group badass Facebook marketing club join the challenge social media minder dot com slash Facebook live and we'll see you guys on Facebook take care